Hey everybody, Gary with Basecamp Trading. Let's take a look at the ES this afternoon and let's talk a little bit about what if the markets just aren't acting right. You can see this is our 240 minute chart in the ES. And during the day today, you know, we left this big bottoming tail, the ES pushed up, and then um, we got kind of this doji right here that set up a potential reversal doji. And it actually set up a bear flag that fired to the downside with bearish momentum. Now normally we look at this setup and we're thinking okay prices should start heading lower and then we compare that with our 30 minute chart and we went through this little consolidation here and we were even compressing we drew in this pennant right here and then when we were triggering that 240 minute bear flag we were also triggering this breakout pennant pattern on the 30 minute chart we break in out of the pennant pattern here on the 30 minute chart so okay now we're thinking okay great we got a 240 minute bear flag we've got a 30 minute breakout we're turning back to bearish this bar cause of 5 and 13 to cross to the downside momentum broke back to the downside right here had broken back down to the downside and we should start heading lower. I mean, this really looked like a good breakout trade to the downside. We even had channels drawn in on our Renko chart. You can see that we put our channel in right here because we were pivoting between this pivot high here and this little double bottom right there. And we kind of working our way down, making lower highs, lower lows inside this compression channel. We break out to the downside. And again, we're thinking, OK, you know, this is looking good for a move to the downside. We even had compression channel on the five minute chart. You could see we were pivoting between this pivot high here, this pivot high pivot low right here and we just pivot any inside working our way lower we break out of the bottom of our five minute channel we're triggering a 240 minute bear flag we're triggering a breakout and bearish momentum on the 30 minute chart we're triggering a Renko breakout we have a five minute breakout I mean everything says we should be heading lower <laughs> but as you can see not the case made this little push down and then things turned around. We actually ended up making a trend reversal breakout back to the upside on the five minute chart and kind of pushed our way back higher. But the, again, the path of least resistance should have been to the downside and we should have been looking for a nice move lower. And you can see, again, that's not what happened. And that's okay, you know, it, things don't always follow through the way they are supposed to. And that's okay. You know, we did catch a couple targets on this little breakout. I mean, it was good for a couple hundred dollars per contract. So, I mean, we did get a little something out of it, but the markets just weren't acting right. And when we didn't get that follow through, honestly, we started chopping quite a bit. And I just quit trading. You know, when the markets aren't doing what they're supposed to do, then for me, I need to just get out, step back, reassess. Ended up making a little push higher. This was kind of a choppy push higher. I mean, it moved up, but you can see lots of wicks, reversal doji, and um, just it was a sloppy move back to the upside and a real choppy. And and when we get that kind of a mess, I'd rather just stay out because again, path of least resistance should have been to the downside. All of our higher time frames were pointing to the downside, and then we were moving in price in the opposite direction. And when we're not in confluence with our higher time frames, doesn't mean we can't take some profits, because we can. We even had a, a setup here on a Renko chart after things started to turn around a little bit. We actually went into a uh, compression pattern right here. You can see we had a power line at this pivot. And then we had this previous pivot low down here, and we even had a little double bottom here. But we started pivoting between this pivot and this pivot low. Now, this is not a significant pivot high, but it's a pivot. And we were pivoting inside there. And then we pushed up. We actually had a breakout. Could have grabbed a target on that. And then we continued to push up. Had a wick off the 18. Could have grabbed another target off of that. But that's just real sloppy again, you know, when it... The breakout is where we should have got the good run. And when that didn't happen, we started doing this kind of stuff. And that's, that's just not easy to trade. Now, there were 
again, there were some trades if you wanted to grab some quick one targets, which is what our expectations are. When we're not in confluence with our higher time frame charts, we can take some profits, but it's not reasonable to expect, you know, 100, 200, 80, whatever big runs when we're not in confluence with high time frame charts. Personally, I just stayed out of it. It was, you know, I didn't want to get chopped up. The markets weren't acting right. And when they're not doing what they're supposed to, I just sit on the sidelines.